Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm going to show you three award-winning manufactured homes. The traditional manufactured home has been around for a very long time, and I get it. People might think they've seen it all, but let's not sleep on the old dog because they've got some new tricks. One builder in particular decided 2022 was the year to shake things up a little bit, and the result was some very cool designs and a cakewalk at the Design Awards. I've been in and around the manufactured home industry for many, many years, and just when I thought I'd seen it all, blindsided. Every year the top designs in the entire manufactured home industry are announced and even though the same company cleaned up last year, in my opinion the 2022 exteriors are a major improvement. The company I'm talking about is called Champion Homes and when you see what they're up to you'll understand why they ended up with so much hardware at the banquet. What I'm going to do is show you the 2022 award-winning homes, tell you what I like about each and let you know where you can get them. The MHI Excellence in Manufactured Housing Awards is the annual who's who of manufactured homes put on by the Manufactured Housing Institute. I know what you're thinking, and no, the Manufactured Housing Institute isn't Hogwarts for all of us in the industry. However, they are the only national trade organization representing all segments of the factory built housing industry. Their mission is to serve the members by providing industrial research, promotion, education, and government relations programs, and by building and facilitating consensus within the industry. Their words, not mine. Long story short, every single year they host these awards, giving companies the opportunity to strut their stuff in hopes of getting an attaboy from their peers. There are quite a few awards available, but all I really feel like flapping about today is the design awards, so that's what I'm going to do. Very prestigious awards to win, and last year we had a clean sweep. Every single design award was taken home by Champion Homes. Their winning entries were the 1700 square foot Odyssey, the Diamond D1662C, and the 1490 square foot Ashley Modular. All three homes looked good. Sure, but I gotta be honest, I wouldn't say I was blown away with the exteriors on those homes, and since these are design awards, pretty important factor. This year's winners are a completely different story. All three homes have it going on in their own way and will appeal to a completely different buyer, so let's check them out. The winner of the Modular Housing Design Award is the Greystone Cottage. This is a design style that people ask about a lot on my channel, but for whatever reason, I rarely feature. The Greystone Cottage is from Champions Genesis series, developed for the Greystone Cottage community, and is a 1,600 square foot single story modular home. The description says, upon entering this house, the homeowner immediately experienced the visual impact of our Ultimate Kitchen 3, featuring stainless steel appliances and a large multifunctional island. In addition, the plan features a living room open to the kitchen and dining areas, providing great entertainment space for families and their guests. The living room features a barn door entertainment center with fireplace. The primary bedroom features a walk-in closet and an ensuite with a walk-in ceramic tile shower. Even though I tend to feature more of the new modern options on this channel, there is certainly room for something a little bit more traditional, and I do get a lot of requests for exactly that. What I like about the Greystone Cottage exterior is they use the covered entry, garage, and roof pitch to break up the line of the roof roof and give the home more character. Without those elements to improve the exterior look of the home, we likely aren't having this conversation. I'm definitely a fan of the open floor plan. I do like a home that has a living room that's open to the kitchen, but for the size, this one is a little bit different. Keep in mind, the Greystone Cottage is 1,600 square feet. However, it's only two bedroom, two bathroom, even though you could fit more bedrooms in the space. When you don't, the result is more room for activities in the living spaces, and for this specific situation, that just makes sense. The Greystone Cottages were designed designed for a community of rental homes with an age limit of 55 plus. So the design is kind of geared towards singles or couples and being 55 plus it's a no kids situation so it works. All in all I think it's a cool home for those who are in the market for something with a little bit more of a traditional look. The multi-section manufactured home design of the year went to the Nova. Again, Champion Homes. Let me start by saying I think this is one of the best exteriors I've seen on a manufactured home from a high output builder. The description says the Nova has a modern flat roof which adds charm to the streetscape of the subdivision. It's accented with a stained wood front corner and the porch is covered with a metal awning that enhances the character. People sometimes ask me why the high output factories don't build exteriors like some of the custom prefab builders. The biggest difference between a 
high output builder and a company that has the capability to fully customize is usually how the factory is set up. To maximize output, companies like Champion will usually set up their factory production line style where the homes move through the factory from one station to the next. If there's a home that's a lot more complicated to build, it will likely take a lot more time at each station, slowing down every home behind it. On the other hand, custom builders usually use more of what I would consider a workshop style setup where they're building homes indoors, but the home they're working on remains in one spot inside the building and everything is brought to that home. It doesn't matter how long the home takes to build, it won't affect any other builds that might be going on at the same time. The Nova is just over 1400 square feet with three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a front living room kitchen. In a manufactured home, you can get a vaulted or flat ceiling, and I like the look of the flat ceiling in the Nova given the style of home. I'm interested to know how much of the exterior was offered by the factory and how much, if any, was done after the fact because I think it's a sharp look. The Nova was built in partnership with Sun Communities and is currently a Sun exclusive. However, even if they won't build the exact same house as is for a regular customer, I'm sure they build something close. To round out the winners of 2022 was the manufactured home design single section with the Sydney. The Sydney is a very unique design and falls into the small footprint category that has been quite popular lately. It's a one bedroom, one bathroom home that's 748 square feet. The description says starting with the exterior of the home, you will notice a mono slope roof, which is unique on single section homes. A standard metal roof and composite porch decking adds stylish appeal. Standard transom windows on the high side of the house bring in natural light. The bedroom is well designed with elegant touches such as rolling barn doors for the closets. Between the closets are built-in dressers with counter space and room for a TV. The bathroom has multiple entries opening to both the hallway and bedroom. It includes a generous amount of storage and a standard 60 inch tile shower with rolling glass barn doors. This is a really cool design but what I like beyond the layout is the fact that there's so much covered porch included right from the factory. Over the years of selling manufactured homes I've noticed that people will buy a home with big plans and great intentions of what they want to add down the road but a lot of times life gets in the way. If it doesn't happen right away, it's not uncommon for them not to add their dream porch or covered section of their deck that they originally planned. If it's available from the factory like it is on the Sydney and in the budget, I would argue it's better to get it done so it's done. I think this is a neat little floor plan that would be a cool option for first time home buyers, a cottage, or people looking to downsize. If you like it, you can check out more from Titan Factory Direct. Just like last year, all three of the design awards from the Manufactured Housing Institute went to Champion. Champion Homes was founded in 1953 as a single facility in a small town in rural Michigan. Today, they're one of the top builders of manufactured and modular buildings in the world with 40 factories throughout North America. All told, the Champion family of builders has sold more than 3 million factory built manufactured homes, modular homes, and mobile homes. It's crazy. That's a lot. Looks to me like after 69 years in the building industry, they're still bringing fresh ideas because even compared to last year, I'm noticing some big changes. The new and exciting prefab home options have been getting a lot of attention lately, but we can't forget about the OGs of the industry who have passed the test of time building homes year in, year out, because they've got a lot to offer. I'm always following what Champion's doing, and next time there's something noteworthy, you'll be able to find the update right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, Make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.